so uh, this deck was fine. Um, Drowner's great. I would not play this deck without Drowner in it, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's a lot of kill spells in this. I don't mind. But I, I think the overall takeaway I've learned here is that I kind of want some more tools to fight fair in this deck. Um, I don't know what they are. Sky Spawner was great. Um, Displacer was a pretty sweet trump uh, some, that one time that I did the thing. Um, it's possible you want some matter reshapers, not a ton. Like you can cut like a Displacer for a reshaper and then like a kill spell for a reshaper. And then like move your cyborg to have like maybe counter magic because you have blue mana. Um, but like, I guess again, this just shows like this is a very flexible shell. Like, there's no reason to be locked in on any specific card um, that you play in your deck, with the exception of like the base 16, right? I guess I'm gonna count uh, Drowner and Sky Spawner and those. So the base 24. Um, yeah, I uh, I don't know what I want in the sideboard, but the white spells were very powerful. Um, just kind of wanted a bit of counter magic for some insurance at times. But you can do that, which is just silly. You can just do whatever you want because the mana works and you also have soul lands. Which, actually, that's like one of the ridiculous things about this deck. I think that's the really, really ridiculous thing, is that you get to play soul lands with good mana, and that just, like, doesn't really happen in magic in general. Which is also why Sneak and Show and Legacy is great, but different format. But, like, this is basically a sneak and show mana base in modern, which is crazy. Um, yeah, you know, if you show up to Louisville this weekend and lose to Eldrazi, uh, that's about expected. Uh, eh, good luck to everyone who isn't doing this. You're going to need it. Um, yeah, I really don't know what you're supposed to do besides play this deck in some variation. Um, I've tried, I did everything I could.